Also remembering former Ohio State Senator and Representative Stanley Aronoff. He died yesterday at the age of 91. Megan O'Rourke is here to share some of his legacy. I mean, you, you know, you're a longtime resident here. I mean, you remember the name from years ago. Oh, yeah, of course. And then, you know, talk about his name being on all the buildings that we see it on now. Of course, he had that lengthy career in state politics spanning nearly four decades before eventually stepping away from public service in 1996. And again, today here in Cincinnati, his name is synonymous with the arts, as you'll find it, taking off center stage at the Aronoff Center. The stage lights don't seem quite as bright here at the Aronoff Center for the Arts downtown. Dan would come by very often to see performances and he always bring guests from out of town. And he'd always say, hey, this is my hall, this is my hall. Aronoff Center President Steve Lofton shares fond memories of his longtime friend. I think most people wouldn't have an idea how much Dan has done for this community. Through their work together promoting the arts in Cincinnati, he had a front row seat to Aronoff's many accomplishments. You know, I think most people probably know Stan for his uh, support for arts facilities and arts presenters. Uh, they probably don't know that he was a tireless supporter for all things that people needed in our city. And he really believed that they needed access, access to all kinds of things, health and uh, property and certainly a place to enjoy the arts. But long before becoming known as an advocate for the creative community, Aronoff was a successful attorney and longtime state lawmaker. He served nearly four decades in the Ohio House and State Senate before stepping away from the floor in 1996. After learning of his passing, House Majority Leader Bill Seitz issued a statement calling Aronoff a truly titanic figure in Ohio politics, saying in part, His was the first campaign I really ever worked on back in the 70s when I was in law school. I learned from a master pragmatic lawmaker many skills that have served me well in my own legislative career. Ohio Senator George Lang also remembering Aronoff. He says, quote, Stan Aronoff was a true public servant who was widely respected by all who knew him. As Senate president, he was an incredibly effective advocate for Southwest Ohio, leaving a legacy that endures to this day. Our region and the state of Ohio are better off because Stan Aronoff chose to serve. It's always a sad time when we lose someone so important to us and has been so integral to our lives for so many years. But there's so much love and joy and memories that we're all going to be able to share. Now, in addition to the Aronoff Center for the Arts, the Aronoff Center for Design and Art on the University of Campus is also named in his honor, as is the Stanley J. Aronoff Laboratory of Biological Sciences on Ohio State's campus in Columbus. I know, you know what, in having the, um, the Aronoff Center downtown, what a monument to him. Well, we talked about that, too, uh, when I talked with Steve Lofton earlier. He said, you know, a lot of people think that he just impacted the arts, mm -hmm. but it was really once the Aronoff Center went in that we started to see the restaurants and all the businesses moving to that area. So he says his impact is much greater than the arts, even. Yeah, it's nice. Megan, thanks.